okay? I'm tying what's called a redfish slider. Uh, Borsky actually tied the original on this, but uh, a professor down in uh, University of Texas at Brownsville named uh, Ray Ramirez uh, has done a different version, and I, I've only seen one of his flies, and I didn't get a sample, so I've been trying to tie the same thing. Down there, they caught a lot of redfish on this, so I thought up here it would be a good thing to display. I'm going to go ahead and start with a rust-colored uh, marabou for the tail, and you actually make it a, just longer, about a, a length and a half of the hook shank, longer than the hook shank. I'm going to do a few wraps here. I'm using a 3 out thread. I'm using a tan thread, but it doesn't matter really what color you're using here. Clip the tail off. Trim this out of the way a little bit. Okay, it's a pretty simple fly. Use uh, rooster hackle and I've got some barbed orange or, or, roost, or rust colored. Cut off my fuzzy part. Trim on both sides there just to start around the, the quill. Set her down. This fancy tool for wrapping my hackle. Nurse it around right to where the marabou starts and cover that thread up. Pulling back my feathers as I do it. You can use one or two feathers. Um, I'm going to apply uh, bead chain eyes next, and there I only need to go up about five eighths of a of the hook shank length with this feather. So I'm just going to run the whole feather out. All right. Now I back up my thread to the feather, trap it off. Got four wraps. Clip off the little tag. thread out and get me a bead chain. I'm using gold bead chain eyes. And what this does gives a little bit of weight to it. I'm not going to put any lead on it. This is normally fished in pretty shallow water. So, and I'm going to put deer hair after this, which helps it float. This will help it sink a little. And you just want it to sink to the bottom in shallow water for a redfish. I'm doing a crosshatch tie down with my thread. I'm going to come all different ways here to lock it in place. You see how I'm wrapping around between the eyes, under the eyes, back around. And you just feel when it's really firm, then you've got it. Do some half hitches on it now and trap that thread in place. Three half hitches. Put a little hard as nails on there. This hook will ride upside down since the eyes are on the top. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to apply my deer hair now. And I'm going to you can put a weed guard on it, but I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to use the deer hair to uh, 
form my uh, weed guard. So I'm using a rust colored deer hair, taking out a fairly sizable clump. Usually do about the size of a pencil. Pull out my fuzz. Now here you don't want to stack the deer, I mean, I don't want to, uh, I don't care about the ends of my deer hair being uh, any certain way. I'm just uh, applying this on top. I'm going to stack the hair on. So I'm going to cross hatch right over the top of these eyes. Two loose wraps and then one tight wrap. Pull it all down. And I'll thread through that. Do a couple of more. And I'm going to tie behind it just a little bit. I'm trying to hold down the deer hair so it won't flare out too far with just a few wraps behind it here. They're not firm wraps, they're just, there we go. All right, and then we'll come up in front of the eyes now. I'm going to do a, some more half hitches in here so that I can turn the fly over and look at it and see what I want to do. Now for fishing, this fly is actually finished as far as I can trim the head a little bit uh, just to dress it off. I'm not trying to make it beautiful for fishing. But now if I want to add some more deer hair, I'm going to put some buoyancy on it and I don't want to get too much on there or it's going to float. And I want it to sink slowly. So right now I can just trim off what's sticking up. But if you want to go ahead and add some more, and what I've done on some flies is take an orange color and go ahead and stack on top of it just enough to dress off, if you want it to look good, to dress off with the eyes. But I'll leave this like it is and go ahead and trim the bottom. Just the, the flared out pieces is all I'm uh, cutting off and trimming. The rest of that is going to be my my hook guard. John was our president. So it's a simple fly and it's fast to tie. Second. And then you've got some good redfish. He was always a good redfish fly. Then it's not beautiful, but it's effective, especially down in Brownsville. Clip off my thread here. I'll go ahead and put some some more uh, hardest nails on it. Clip off my thread. And that's the fly. Yeah.